Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand crystal oscillator. A crystal oscillator is basically a tuned oscillator. It is same as tuned oscillator except it uses a piezoelectric crystal instead of inductor. So, it works on the principle of inverse piezoelectric effect. So, the working principle of crystal oscillator is inverse piezoelectric effect. So, before going to the operation of crystal oscillator, we need to understand what is piezoelectric effect and what is the inverse piezoelectric effect. Many naturally available crystals exhibit piezoelectric effect. Piezoelectric effect is an electromechanical phenomena. So, if we take any piezoelectric material, And if certain amount of pressure is applied on this piezoelectric material, so it will produce the voltage across its terminals. So, this effect is known as piezoelectric effect. Now, we will see what is inverse piezoelectric effect. So, it is the reverse operation of uh, piezoelectric effect. So, if certain amount of voltage is applied to the terminals of uh, the piezoelectric material. So, if we are applying some voltage with frequency f, the piezoelectric material will also vibrate with the same frequency. So, it will produce some frequency. So, this piezoelectric material will vibrate with same frequency. So, this effect is known as inverse piezoelectric effect. So, whenever a voltage of some frequency is applied at the terminals of piezoelectric material, for example, crystal, this material will be vibrating at the same frequency f. So, this effect we will call that as inverse piezoelectric effect. This natural resonating frequency of the crystal depends upon the thickness of the crystal. So, which means frequency of oscillation will be inversely proportional to thickness of the crystal. So, which means the frequency of oscillation will increase as the thickness of the crystal decreases. So, usually in crystal oscillator quartz crystal is used. This quartz crystal is usually used in sinusoidal oscillator due to the following reasons like uh, it is mechanically strong, it is having good piezoelectric sensitivity and it is also less expensive. Due to these reasons, crystal is used for producing the oscillations. This is the symbol of the crystal and if you write electrical equivalent circuit of the crystal, so we can write RLC in series along with that we can connect a capacitor in parallel. So, here R is the electrical equivalent resistance of the crystal internal frictions, L is the electrical equivalent inductance of the crystal mass, C is the electrical equivalent of crystal capacitance and C m is the capacitance due to mechanical mounting of the crystal. The crystal which is represented by equivalent electrical circuit have two resonating frequencies first one is series resonant frequency and second one is parallel resonant frequency. This shows the impedance versus frequency graph. So, in x axis we have considered the frequency in and in y axis we have considered the impedance. So, here we have represented f s and f p, f s specifies series resonant frequency and f p represents parallel resonant frequency. When the crystal is used as a series resonant, at that case you can see the impedance is low. So, you can see here. So, at series resonant frequency impedance of the crystal will be less and at the parallel resonant frequency impedance of the crystal is more. So, if we keep this in mind we can understand the operation of crystal oscillator. So, I have drawn the circuit for series resonant uh, frequency as well as uh, parallel resonant frequency. So, the only difference here is the way we are connecting the crystal. So, for both the circuits we are using a common emitter voltage divided by a circuit. 
for biasing the transistor. In series resonant mode, the crystal may be connected as a series element in the feedback as shown in this figure. So, in parallel resonating circuit, the crystal is connected in parallel. In both the circuit, crystal will operate on the principle of inverse piezoelectric effect which means whenever we are applying some voltage, this crystal will vibrate producing some frequency. From this graph, we can identify that the impedance will be less in series resonant circuit. That is why whenever the crystal is connected in series, its impedance is small, hence the amount of feedback which is given to the amplifying circuit is large. Hence the amount of feedback is more. In parallel resonating circuit, the crystal will act as an inductor, hence the oscillator will operate as Colpitt's oscillator. The frequency of oscillation of series resonant circuit is F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root L C. So, you can see here. So, it is depending upon L and C value in the equivalent circuit. And frequency of oscillation of parallel resonant circuit is F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L C equivalent. So, here C equivalent will be equal to C into C m divided by C plus C m because C and C m are connected in parallel. So, these two are the resonating frequency of series and parallel resonant circuit. So, this is all about crystal oscillator. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.